Hey guys, Radio Garage back on the bench, working on a President Lincoln 2 Plus for Matt. He's getting a Richard and a Lincoln, and I just wanted to show you this out of the box, what it looks like on the receive. A lot of people say they're they're ready to go right out of the box. Some say send them out. So I'm just going to show you guys what I find, what I'm finding. So receive is supposed to be 38695. Out of the box, it is. 3869494. So, is there room for improvement? Yeah, a little bit. Not much. Pretty much spot on. Some would call that good enough. Let's see if we could get it a little bit tighter. Let me come down here and adjust it. We want to get that. Let's see if we can get that to say 36. Th I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 38695. Let me give it a little adjustment here. Try to just get that, bring that receive to where it's perfect. So a little bit more. And one more. This is where most people won't spend the extra time to get it just right. I might have went too far. Give it another little bump. There we go. 3869500. Now your receive is perfect, and that's running off the external 10 megahertz reference. So she's actually jumping between because she's right on there. So, all right, you got your receive dialed right in. On to the next part. All right, so we're back. We're on the receive test on the equipment here. So let's see what it's doing for Cyanad. We are on, right now we're on lower side band. Okay, let's zoom in here. Receive display, lower side band. And we'll see what it's doing. So if you can see there, bottom left corner, we are at 12 dB. And that is coming in at, hopefully that's showing up on camera, negative 125, so really nice on sideband audio for the receive side. We'll take it to AM now. And we'll just hit over here to mode. And go to, whoop, not too far. AM. Now I'm just going to switch this over here. Dial this down. Doesn't hear as well on AM, naturally. I think it was about 112. Yep. I'll take my volume down just a little bit. So, uh, negative 112. There it is there. And then bottom left over there, 12. So, nice receive on this thing. Uh, just about done with this one, Matt, and uh, I'm going to quick get it off the receive test here, and I'll get it on the transmit and just show you what it's doing. All right, so here we are back with the Lincoln. We're going to be doing the transmit. I got around AM, channel 20. doesn't really matter what channel, but my gain is up all the way here. This is turned that way. RF power right here is all the way clockwise. And what I'm going to be doing to get the sample off this because my scope does not like radios with a hot pin on the mic. It just totally screws my scope up. So what I have to do is I run the, um, I'm going to be getting the sample off the dummy load through the antenna switch. So basically this here goes to a dummy load and then this here is a BNC cable that's coming over right here to the scope. So it's taking the stray RF off of here like I do with for the frequency counter. I'm gonna just use it for the scope for this example. So we are using the test set. 30 millivolts, thousand hertz tone coming out of here. Here's the cable, AF out, goes into here, into the uh, 
Oh, got zoomed in too much. And the mic adapter. And we'll plug it in. Okay, here we go. This is just to show modulation at this point. And here's what our signal looks like. Okay, so it looks good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of here. So we saw the modulation on the scope. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a microphone into it. Back that up. We're going to put a microphone. We're going to hook to our other dummy load, which runs through our bird meter. All right, so we're going to show it on the bird here. So here is the transmit side. We got this. Uh, we got power all the way up, mic gain all the way up. We're going to show it to you on the bird and the digital meter. And okay, let me just plug this in. 30 millivolts, 1,000 hertz tone. There we go. And you can see there on peak on the bird, it's showing just over 40, about 44, 43. And then on the digital meter, it's showing 51. Okay. So you get a little more out of the digital meters. Um, that's what I'm trying to tell folks. So when you when you get it home, if you do see somebody, you know, if you, if you buy your radio from somebody that's using just a digital meter, and you get it home, and it's not doing that wattage, um, it's probably just just the difference with digital and analog meters. So that's why I always like using the bird. I don't know. I just I feel it's more of an more of an industry reference standard. So. But I will, I will continue to do the two different meters just to give uh, people an option as far as what you may or may not see. All right, so we're gonna get the shields put back on it for uh, the inside, and then this one is all done. So I'm gonna get this and your other radio uh, wrapped up for you, or I should say packed up, and then uh, they'll be on their way. So. Alright, so last but not least, forgot about the spectrum analyzer here, so we're on 15 megahertz, we're on the Lincoln, okay, she's on AM, channel 20, there we go, that's in there, go to 30, talk into it, one, two, three, four, five, nothing there. Now we knew this was going to be clean. And 60 for the second. Little bit second. Absolutely beautiful. One, two, three. All right, that's it.